Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you find this video educational. For those of you who are coming back for uh, the, the second or third or fourth or 18th time, then thanks for always stopping by. So today's video is gonna be slightly different. Instead of walking around with a, a camera vlogging about my day, I wanted to actually make a video that was gonna be a bit more educational. On average, I probably wake up every day of the week with between 30 and 50, DMs on Instagram asking about like what I do for a living, how I can help grow their Instagram accounts. So about four months ago now, Gemma and I come back from traveling around the world. We'd got to 35,000 followers on Instagram, crushing it, we were loving our lives. And we just thought, you know, what could we do now we're back home in the UK? that's really gonna help people grow their Instagram accounts, but at the same time, it's gonna allow us to work and give us the freedom to, to work anywhere in the world, as long as we have a laptop. We come up with this idea of being able to actually grow Instagram accounts manually ourselves um, for other people. So flash forward four months, I actually look after between 55 and 60 Instagram accounts, um, and Gemma looks after, I think, around 20, 25 accounts. So it's going really good. This video, basically, um, I've got my trusty notepad here. Um, so this video is really directed at anyone. It sounds quite cliche, but anyone that's serious about growing their Instagram account. And first off as well, I just really wanted to cover this right at the start because I didn't want to be one of those videos which goes on for like 20 minutes and then at the end says, now pay me a hundred pounds and I will do this for you. It is a paid service. At the end of the day, this is how Gemma and I earn our living. We have rent to pay. We have things to pay for, we have bills that come out just like everybody else. So we don't grow Instagram accounts for free. Um, so it is a paid service, but that is one of the points in here that I will cover later on is the price. So if you aren't interested in paying for a, a legitimate service, um, and you want to just go do it yourself, then I'm sure there's millions of other videos out there that you can go click on. I'll leave you to go do that. Okay guys, if you are still here, then that means you are genuinely seriously interested in properly, organically, naturally growing your Instagram account. I've got uh, five sections here which I wanted to break this video down into. Um, again, this video is kind of directed at uh, people that might have messaged me and asked about more information. I can just send you this video. Um, or you might just be finding this video for the first time um, and you might want to contact us afterwards, which is perfectly fine either way. The five sections are, who is it for? What do we do for you? the pros versus the cons, frequently asked questions, and the price. So the first one, who is it for? It's basically for anyone that is super, super serious about growing their Instagram account. You might be a, a local business that's really struggling online to, to build a presence online. You might be a band or an artist that, that really wants to get their music out there. You might just be sort of like a, 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 what we just class as an Instagrammer. So somebody who's in a sort of travel, lifestyle, maybe gym um, niche. So basically it's kind of for anyone, but not for anyone. It's, it's not for anyone that just wants to, you know, come in for one month and expect that they're going to get 20,000 followers. Um, it's more for people that look at it and say, look, I want to build a career out of Instagram. I eventually want to work with brands. I eventually want an agent. I eventually want the freedom and the time to do whatever I want to do in my life um, and, and have Instagram pay away for me. We can grow you to those sort of numbers. Point two. What do we do for you? We actively engage with an audience within your niche. As a perfect example, and to keep it really simple, Jay Alvarez was always the, the top sort of travel slash lifestyle person. So for my own account, I would go onto Jay Alvarez's account, I would go into his followers, I would go into the people that were liking and commenting on his, and I would engage with them. Um, I would go through and I'd like their pictures, I would follow them, I would comment on their pictures. It's pure natural engagement. Now, I know that that sounds like something you're like, well, I could just sit at home and do that. But if you've got the time to sit at home and do that, then maybe you should just sit at home and do that. Gemma and I do this for a living. So we do around 5,000 bits of different engagement on your account each day, including Sundays, every day of the week. And the return back from that is that these people will see that you're engaging with them and they will follow you back. So basically it's engagement. It's, it's, it's pure, natural engagement. It doesn't just build sort of ghost followers, it builds followers that are already interested in your niche. So you might be a, a band, your idol is the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We would go into the fans of the Red Hot Chili Peppers and we would actually start engaging with them as a community. So eventually you're gonna get those guys come and follow you back, like your music, and boom, you've got new fans. And it works the same in every single niche. 
Okay, point three, the pros versus the cons. I'm gonna be completely honest here, I'm a very transparent person, so I feel it's, it's, it's only honest of me to give the pros and the cons as well. About two months ago, I sent out an email to everyone that's on, everyone who's got an Instagram account with me. I asked for sort of three points that you think are a, a really good thing about the service, and then give me three points that you dislike about it or things that you think could be changed. The biggest thing that I got back that was a pro was the fact that they just wake up in the morning and they go to bed at night, they post a photo every now and then, and that's it. And they wake up every single morning with hundreds of new followers every single day. Some of these people, you know, their engagement is a little bit lower. Some of them is sky high. Like, it really depends on your content. That's not down to me. I don't do anything with your content at all. So a real good pro of it is the fact that they just pay a small fee each month and I just go ahead and just engage with people. So they don't have to do anything. Their Instagram account to them is just growing. To them it's just naturally growing every single day. They're just getting new followers. So I'd say one of the biggest pros is the time side of things. The fact that you don't have to do anything, that we do it all for you. I'd probably say that one of the, the biggest cons that we get is people emailing and asking why they are following so many people. Now, you have to look at it this way, that when we do follows on an account, they're so temporary. Like, we can do a thousand follows a day and somebody will get super angry and be like, well, why am I following a thousand people? Tools like Iconosquare, which will give us stats of who's followed back. So then we go back through those people that we followed and the ones that haven't followed us back or engaged with us, we simply unfollow. So eventually we balance it out. And I like to work on the scale that we follow a certain amount and then we sort of like a certain amount, we comment on a certain amount until we get to a certain number and until our followers go up. So on my account, I was following like 5,000 people, but my followers had gone up to like 7,000. So then I decreased that. Then when I'd got to a certain stage, all I'd done was I just boosted that following number up again, right up to almost maximum capacity, which was 7,500. And from that, I gained even more followers. So I kept building it and building it and building it. So basically, there are certain, there are ways that I could probably get around that. Maybe I can streamline it a little better um, so that we don't have to do so many follows every single day. But, you know, at the end of the day, are you really gonna be bothered about how many you're following whilst you're in this building stage? Um, really, the, the most important number is the followers, how many followers we can get you from it. That is basically the only con that we ever get emailed about. Um, and as soon as we email people and just say to them, look, the following is a temporary number to get us to that permanent high followers number, you know, that kind of works out. The fourth point in here is frequently asked questions. Now I put this in here, I know that people can ask more questions. I wanted to put this in here just to cover a couple of these as well. Actually, there's probably only really one question which we get asked the absolute most is, are they fake robot followers? This has got to be single-handedly the, the most asked question I get. When I ask people and I say to them, hey, your Instagram is really cool, are you interested in me growing it for you? The first thing they say is, yes, that sounds awesome. The second thing they ask is, are they robots or fake followers? So one of the things that people need to understand is in like 2013, 2014, you could probably go anywhere on the internet, um, Google buy followers and you'd be able to buy followers and you might be able to get away with it for a little while. In 2017, it's next to impossible for you to be able to get away with it anyway. Instagram has some of the toughest algorithms out there. If they see people have got a certain amount of followers and then within a short period of time, say you went away and you bought 10,000 followers, Instagram is just gonna ban your account. It's gonna ban your account straight up. Do you think I'm gonna get my account banned? No way. Do you think I'm gonna want you to get your account banned? No way, I make money that way. Why would I wanna get your account banned? But the second point on that is like, there's a website called Social Blade, which anyone can go to and you can put in any Instagrammer in the world in there and it will give you their stats daily. So it will give you how many uh, followers they gained on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, and all the way through. And basically, if you see that and they're gaining on average between 30, 40, sometimes 50, sometimes 20 a day, and then on a Thursday afternoon, suddenly they get 10,000 followers, you're gonna know that they bought followers. Um, the same way that all the brands out there, all the biggest brands, Nike, Adidas, all of those sort of people, they will basically have teams of people that have tools that can search your Instagram account for fake followers. 
so it's kind of like what's the point what would what is the point of doing it buying followers has got to be the most bullshit way to grow your instagram account ever and i hate it i actually get really really defensive when people message me if i'm in a bad mood i will just message back like go fuck yourself man like really bad really really bad business but i just wanted to clear that up and just let people know that the way that we grow instagram accounts is so far away from from buying fake followers for your accounts we engage with real organic natural people so i'm glad i cleared that one up um, and the fifth point which is the last point i wanted to cover is the price now when we first started doing this we'd just come back from traveling around the world um, and we were trying to get money super bad um, so we came up with a price that for companies um, and sort of bigger organizations we would charge 120 pounds a month for the service we then said for Instagrammers, we would only charge £50 a month, um, which has sort of swayed up and down a little bit in the last couple of months, just while we try and figure out what is going to be right. Which brings me on to the point of this. When it comes to price, like, to give you an example, there's uh, most of the people when they first signed up with me and have been with me for months and months, um, they pay £50 a month for the service. However, there's a few people in there that kind of made me rethink this. Um, for example, let's just call them girl A and girl B. Girl A, her dad pays it. She lives in a big house in the hills in Malibu in California um, and her dad pays every month. Every month when I message her and say, hey, your payment is due for this month, it comes from her dad's account. So her super rich dad is paying her 50 pounds a month. Person B, who lives in the middle of Missouri in America, um, she's super struggling, her family is super struggling, she lives in a really small house, she, uh, she, she has two jobs and she's like looking after her little brother and it's all totally legit, I see it every day on Instagram. Um, so you know, I, it would be unfair for me to charge those two people the same amount for the service. So I like to think of the service as being a bit more human. Um, than just uh, just saying yeah pay us this. If you are interested and you're you're really interested in, in properly organically growing your Instagram account, I'd be happy to sit down uh, and discuss um, a payment that actually works for you. Because at the same time, I want it to be good for you, but I want it to be fruitful for me, of course. Um, and also on top of that, like I don't want people to sign up and then within a month or two months say, oh no, I can't afford it any longer. I want to work with your account. I want I want to have your account for like a year, just so I can really get in there and I can really properly understand your account, really understand your market and just grow it organically. So guys, that is the end of the video. Um, if you are super interested in having your Instagram account grown for you in a proper, organic, natural way, um, and we're talking figures that are like, anywhere between 60 and 120 new followers every single day, including Sundays, um, then do get in touch with me. I'll leave a, a link in the description to my Instagram so you can go and DM me on there. Um, or I'll leave my email address, my direct personal email address in the link below. Um, and you guys can just contact me and, and let me know if you're interested. Um, I hope this video was, was a little bit more helpful. I hope it gave you some more information into to what we do. Um, and I look forward to speaking with you. I don't really know how to end this video. I normally end videos by going, but I can't really reach the camera.